Welcome back to the workshop. In this video, I'm going to be looking at how to fix crackly volume pots on guitar amps. If there's one noise I dread more than anything else as a musician, it's got to be this. That crackle is caused by carbon deposits, another gunk that built up in the pots over the years, and the only way to get rid of it is by cleaning all this carbon and gunk out of the pots again. And the conventional wisdom on this is to use contact cleaner, which is this stuff. Squirt it into the pots, spin them around a few times, and that should clean it. Now, a lot of the time that will work fine, but when it's a really old and gunky pot, we have to go one step further, and that's what we're going to do now. Now, the first thing we have to do is find our way inside the amplifier. So you want to look around for any external screws. This one had eight on this back panel here, which I've already taken out. Um, your amp may be different, you may have an amp at the top and an open back speaker, in which case you possibly have screws on this top panel here to drop. So have a look around, you'll get your way in eventually. So, let's get this panel off. You've got the speaker down here. Along the top, you've got the electronics. Now this is the transformer. And this is the board that the EQ and the volume controls are mounted to. Don't touch the transformer, don't touch anything on the power side. If you see any big capacitors like that one, don't touch them. In fact, if you don't know what you're doing, maybe get someone else to do it. So first thing we need to do is whip this board out, which has just got two screws there, I'll do that now. Once that's undone, you'll generally have to take all the parts off at the front, which can be a bit stiff sometimes, but they will come eventually. Once the pots are off, you've normally got a little nut underneath to spin those out. If they're tight, you can use a loose as anything, but if they're tight, you can use a, a spanner on them. Keep these safe, keep the washers safe as well. Okay, now the circuit board's free, we've got access to the troublesome pot, which is this one, the volume pot. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to desolder that and I'm going to open it up and have a look inside. I've already squirted about half a tin of contact cleaner into it and it's not making any difference, so we have to take the next step. Okay, so we now have the offending part on the table desoldered, and if you, if you look on this side, there's four tabs there. What we're going to do, we're going to bend those back and take a look inside. And we can now take the back off and have a look inside. So once you open up your pot, you're going to find one of two things. Either the wipers and the track are going to separate from each other, or it's going to be a sealed unit like this where they don't. If they do separate, then you're in luck because you can use a pencil eraser and some contact cleaner just to very carefully clean the track, and hopefully that should fix it. But in this case, that's going to be very difficult. So I found a replacement part for 99p on eBay, so I've ordered that. It's in the post. It's going to come in a couple of days. I'll pick it up there. Right now, I'm off to the pub. Right, my new pot arrived in the post, so I'm going to solder it on and put it all back together and see if it runs.
Excellent, so we're all working. So I can replace all the pots on the top, put the back panel on, screw the board back into place, and we're done. So that's it, a quick and easy repair and a lovely little old amp saved from the scrap heap. So if you like this video then please click the like button, if you want to subscribe to my channel then please do, and otherwise I'll see you in the next video.